Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. So much to talk about here. Uh, there's a fun fact I'll share towards the beginning of the video having to do with Ripple. Uh, it's just a little figure having to do with Ripple and its uh, position regarding mergers and acquisitions. Uh, I've also got to share with you what is one of my new favorite uh, spelling mistakes having anything to do with crypto and blockchain. It is it is fantastic. I can't wait to share it with you. Because, you know, I, I always joke. I mean, I'm serious, but, like, it's funny, so I guess I kind of say it in a joking way that these writers for crypto media, yeah, bless their little souls. They're a bunch of C students. They don't, they don't check their work. They'll just type, type, type up whatever, you know, smash that keyboard. And then uh, they don't check for spelling mistakes, sentence structure, uh, you know, you know, like... Like, even grammatical continuity of any kind, uh, they don't check for facts. <laughs> it's just, it's really something. So wading through some of this stuff. And some outlets are worse than others. That's certainly true. But um, this one, it's nothing personal. I'm just having a little fun with this. But uh, in this case, it's just, it's something maybe you won't laugh as much. I thought it was pretty funny, though. So I'm going to share that. And I've got, it comes from this piece here uh, from uh, Crypto Daily titled, Ashish Birla from Ripple discusses how XRP can be used to shift the world of finance. But before we go any further here, if you would please delicately tap that like button, I would definitely be so appreciative. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. You know, it gets uh, the, the good word from Moon Lambo out to others as a result. And also, go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel because if you don't, that would really hurt my feelings. Why would you not want my content? This is top shelf where grandma keeps the peanut butter. All right, let's go ahead and hop into this now. Shout out to XRP Crypto Wolf for sending this fun little tidbit to me. Uh, cryptocurrency exchanges lead the way for blockchain merger and acquisition deals. The blockchain's industry has had 129 merger and acquisition deals worth $2.9 billion. Now, Ripple is top five with three merger and acquisition deals, and CEO Brad Garlinghouse already said Ripple will invest in more companies later this year. Indeed, and I joked about in the past, it's like, uh, that Ripple wants to go on a shopping spree. And so here's the actual chart in case you care to take a look here. And it's all color-coded. It makes it so fancy. You gotta love that, right? Uh, yeah, Ripple, uh, they, they are something. They are the behemoth in blockchain that will not be stopped despite what the Bitcoin maxi trolls want reality to be. They're just going to have to stay under the damn bridge. Ain't nothing going to stop them. Uh, next, here's a tweet from Real XRP Boy that I wanted to share with you. And it actually relates to the article that I'm going to be running through with this this, this stupid freaking... I, I can't wait to share with you the time. I just I don't want to hype it up too much because you, you maybe, maybe I oversell it and then you're like, ah, but I think it's funny. But uh, anyway, Real XRP Boy wrote the following. How I think of it, simply put... If you can transfer money instantly, why would you tie up capital to do it? We're witnessing the testing phase of XRP. We're close, so close, I can feel it. It would be laughable to drag out the uncertainty coming from the United States. Pressure on. And it's a, it's a reasonable question to ask, and I think us here in the XRP community, we understand that having massive Nostro accounts the world over in perpetuity with no changes don't no make no damn sense, right? But uh, it, it, it's a transition, whatever it looks like, it's going to have to happen organically. And not that there wouldn't be notable spurts in growth, not that there wouldn't be uh, notable price rallies, which would not be a requirement necessarily for the adoption. I'm just citing there can be all sorts of things happening. And I'm not offering financial advice, just to be clear. I don't have a financial background. I don't know what's going to happen with the price of XRP. I don't pretend to know. I've never made a price prediction, and I never will. I mean, the topic of price is fun to talk about, but I don't make predictions. But uh, so, so why would banks keep uh, keep their Nostra accounts? Well, I can I can tell you a few things on this topic. Certainly, if you're one of the larger banks that uh, has their competitors paying, like literally, this is what's happening. There are smaller banks paying their larger competitors to tap into their uh, their Nostra accounts because they don't have the capital to park all over the world, but they want to engage in remittances. And so there you go. <clears throat> That's a way to, to do it. So uh, larger banks making money off of this, even though there's friction, the largest banks making this possible, maybe they don't so much want that to go away. They don't want to lose their control. I can understand that. So that's 
that's certainly one thing. But uh, as as far as um, the ultimate evolution of this, look, the, the technology is going to win out because the smaller banks are going to stop paying the larger competitors, and then they're, eventually there's not going to be so much a need for these larger banks to ha- hold the uh, you know their their dormant capital the, you know the world over when they they're not making money off it. Why would they do that? Uh, another reason is also con- consider this, and this is something I've, I've talked about on the channel before, and I don't have a perfect answer for this. Uh, you know, to, to, to alleviate this concern, it's it's worth talking about just from a critical thinking perspective and i don't think it's something that's you know necessarily going to, I, I don't believe i can stay flat out that it's going to be something that would um hamper hamper the um, legitimate adoption of xrp as a bridge currency but you can imagine in terms of let's just say that there were a, a scenario where xrp was a bridge currency for the vast majority of remittances the world over when you're talking about converting from one fiat currency to another let's just say that were the case and there are almost no notional accounts remaining well, in order to make those transactions happen, you have to have a sufficient blend of price and liquidity. What would happen then if, uh, if XRP were to, uh, to, to just tank? What was the price of it? Uh, and then you didn't have a sufficient blend of price versus liquidity. Maybe there's plenty of buying and selling, so there's plenty of like liquidity in theory. But what if it's just not worth a damn because the price craters, for reasons unrelated to its usage as a bridge currency, because XRP is used for other things and people just speculate on top of that, what if? Well, I think the answer would be if that happened, the way humans work is they'd see that there's an opportunity and then those people uh, understand that utility actually matters. Because by then it would have to be clear, I assume, that utility uh, actually is a real thing and it hopefully will have won the day at that point. But even if there was a notable tank for some reason of XRP, which could um, make it not possible to sufficiently move money around the planet... I, th- I don't know that the price would stay down for long because if we know that XRP is the standard and it's being used for that particular use case, it makes me think how many people are going to rush in and buy that up knowing that it's not going away. You know, it would just be some sort of a weird situation where people are panic selling. I don't even know what would cause that. And so it's just a fun hypothetical type of situation to think through. But that could be a fear for, uh, for, for some entities the world over. Um, now, of course, there's all sorts of other dangers, uh, you know, in, in terms of having dormant capital like the Argentine peso. That's one of my favorite examples to bring up because it's the first one I ever heard back in late 2017 when I was learning about this. Brad Garlinghouse cited it in an interview, and he cited, this is a real-world example. You've got the Argentine peso that had crashed um, prior to that. I can't remember exactly what year it was. It may have been years prior to 2017 even. And so if you had dormant capital over there in the Argentine peso, you lost real value uh, compared to the United States dollar, for example. And that's a real risk if you're a, a bank or a remittance company uh, that, that was holding a Nostra account, right? And so it's, it's, it's not exactly ideal here. But, uh, you know, that's one fiat currency. But if you're talking about XRP as the bridge gluing all together, if that happened, in theory, that could be... Uh, very bad in the short term but again i i don't know it's realistic that that would ever happen and why would people not see that as buying opportunity to me it's just kind of it's not something that would be a, a, like a huge concern but i could see people uh, like putting that out there to be just just to because look it's 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 perfectly reasonable to bring up uh, stuff like that and just logically think through it. and i could see if somebody was legitimately concerned of that and there's no guarantees of anything in life though right you know, what if the dollar crashes? All sorts of crazy crap can happen, but um, interesting. Um, now, let me jump over to... Uh, oh, yeah, here's a tweet from Alex Cobb, my fellow XRP YouTuber. He wrote this. Still waiting for that first major bank to announce using XRP. That's going to be the tipping point. I can't wait for that day. And I wonder... Um, well, it, he says major bank. You know, there's there there's been banks that have announced it. Um, I can't remember the... There's one at least... Starts with an I. Now I can't think off the top of my head. But if you're talking major banks, I guess it's kind of subjective what a major bank is. Would it be Bank of America? But see, that's the thing. Those those uh, largest of banks out there, I suspect, um, unless there's some sort of amazing sweetheart deal, I suspect that they'll be among the last to adopt the technology because, again, they're making money from the smaller competitors. So now let's take a look at this piece from Crypto Daily. Ashish Birla from Ripple discusses how XRP can be used to shift the finance world. Um, Following the impact that COVID has had on our lives as well as the economy, a need for a better payment system is needed now more than ever due to the fast-changing global landscape across all sectors in the world needing efficient payments. Demand is seriously high. Uh, We're going to be getting to this fun typo in just a moment here. These demands have highlighted the use of payment technology such as a blockchain, which is getting more popular by the day. Built on this technology or cryptocurrency, is which uh, can be used 
to transfer value in a cheap and much quicker fashion to other payment companies such as PayPal. And bringing XRP into the conversation, the Senior Vice President of Product Management at the San Francisco-based blockchain initiative Ripple, Ashish Birla, has given his opinion on how the token can bring about a fundamental change to the finance industry with real-time payments. And they wrote Ripple here at a company with a lowercase r. When you're typing it, it should be uppercase. But again, you know, a bunch of C students, it's okay here. And it gets worse. Here's the, here's the sentence right here. I, I love this. I laughed about this. There was an audible laugh from, from Moon Knight about this. With the space network from Ribble, that wasn't the whole sentence, but with the space network from Ribble, R-I-B-B-L-E. Now, that mistake I have not seen before. How the hell did that happen? Okay, look at your keyboard if you're in front of a computer. Let me ask you something. Is the letter B anywhere freaking near the letter P? How the hell do you get Ribble? Ribble, Ribble. What the hell, what the hell is this? With the space network from Ribble. <laughs> C students, my friends. A bunch of C students. Oh my gosh, how much do these people get paid? Anyway, with the space network from Ribble, users of the... It's, it's like it was... Is Ribble like a... Is it like Ripple's evil twin brother? Like what, is, what is Ribble here? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But users of the service can make a real-time transfer to the friends of family at negligible costs. According to Space, the, online de, uh, the on-demand liquidity from the San Francisco-based company is making it even better by removing the need for the complex process of transferring payment. And he said, quote... These financial institutions that utilize RippleNet also have access to its on-demand liquidity service, ODL for short. ODL eliminates the complex IOU infrastructure by allowing financial institutions to leverage the XRP ledger and digital assets as a means of instant settlement to avoid pre-funding. This frees up their capital and guarantees competitive FX rate. Exactly. And there will be certain banks that aren't on the mega side that will be the first. Maybe they're mid-sized banks that do have some no-stroke accounts. I suspect, uh, you know, they're they, they're going to be they're going to be willing to jump on board the Ripple train, utilizing XRP as a bridge currency before some of the larger ones here. But uh, it, it's absolutely true. We'll get to a point where I, I suspect. I don't know that no-stroke will ever go 100% away, but I could certainly see a world in my lifetime where the vast majority of transactions are, are you know from fiat currency to fiat currency are taking place using a cryptocurrency and i if i had to bet it would be xrp it's the only one that's being positioned for this particular use case and once a standard good luck supplanting a standard that's actually not an easy thing to do unless you have uh, technology that is substantially more advanced than what's in place such as the case here with, uh, with with XRB being positioned to essentially effectively replace SWIFT, or at least dramatically, uh, you know, reduce its footprint in the world. So we shall see. All good things in time, my friends. But that's it for this video. Oh, Ribble, it's been fun following Ribble. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.